Okay, in this video we're going to talk about what are mutations and how are, do they affect proteins and how does that change in the protein affect the traits and characteristics and of an individual. So there are different kinds of mutations. One type of mutation is called a point mutation. Point mutation is where one base in a gene is changed from the correct base to another one. In the, in the example here you can see there's a uracil that's replacing a cytosine. Um, or you can see there's an A replacing a G there. So sometimes a point mutation can have no effect. Sometimes it can have a, an effect, but it basically works okay. In some cases, the protein either doesn't form at all or it doesn't work at all. So they're caused by base pair substitutions. So silent mutation is one that has no effect because of that, that wobble effect we talked about where that third base oftentimes can change but not change the amino acid that's put in the protein. A missense is where you change the amino acid that's produced in one spot but all the other amino acids are correct. So the protein probably works okay, but maybe has a few issues. A nonsense changes a coding uh, sequence or a coding codon to a stop codon, so that in that case the protein is stopped being produced at that point. So that usually produces a non-functional protein. So point mutations um, can lead to diseases in humans like sickle cell anemia. So here you can see an example of a mutation. This is a point mutation that causes a mutation in the hemoglobin gene which affects the ability to carry oxygen but also causes the cells to take on that unique shape that can stick together and cause problems and, and oftentimes leads to premature death. So this is a missense mutation. So, primarily, it's Africans or people of African heritage that have sickle cell anemia. It's a recessive gene. We'll talk more about what that means uh, later when we talk about uh, inheritance. It strikes one out of every 400 African Americans. That's a fairly high occurrence rate. But why does it do that? Well, the reason it does that is that you know, with recessive diseases, you have to have two copies of the recessive gene, one from mom and one from dad, to have the problem. If you have one good copy, you're okay. Most of your, your, your cells are going to be okay. You're not going to have sickle cell disease, but you're a carrier. And being a carrier for sickle cell anemia is an advantage if you live in parts of the world like Africa, where malaria is an endemic problem, because if you're a carrier for sickle cell anemia, you are more resistant to malaria. Frame shift mutations are caused by adding or deleting bases. It changes the reading frame. So in a frame shift mutation, every codon from the point of the mutation down to the end of the gene is affected. So where in the gene the frame shift occurs has a big effect on what kind of mutation is it. Is it a frame shift, a missense, is it a nonsense, is it you're not going to see silent frame shift mutations, though. So insertions are adding bases, deletions are losing bases, and both of them can cause a change in the reading frame. Uh, cystic fibrosis, which is primarily affects whites of European descent, one out of every 2,500 births in the U.S. Um, results in a child with cystic fibrosis, one out of 25 whites is a carrier. There's a, a gene that transports chlorine across the cell membrane. People with sickle cell disease, this channel protein is defective or absent, causes them to get thick mucus coats around cells, especially in places like the pancreas, the lungs, the digestive tract, um, which can lead to bacterial infections. Uh, without treatment, children typically die before they, they reach age five. With treatment, they can live past their late 20s. Uh, a friend of mine actually has this, and he uh, 
has responded really well to treatment, and he's, you know, he's my age, he's in his 50s, and he's been able to stay pretty active, um, but that's not the normal case for most people with cystic fibrosis. So this kind of shows the, the effect of this mutation here. So it's a deletion um, in most patients. So mutations um, can be caused by specific things in the environment called mutagens that change the DNA, or they can be just a mistake in copying the DNA. So the value of mutations is it creates variability. All of us, in a sense, are mutants in some way. We have inherited a mutation from someone that has given different characteristics like things like eye color, hair color, those were all mutations that changed the color of those things. And some mutations can provide beneficial new characteristics. You're able to blend it with your environment better, things like that. So mutations allow evolution to occur as well. 